Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about my favorites. Uh, beauty products, hair products, everything that I'm out of basically. So before we start, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. So keep on watching. So let's get started. Um, I guess I'll start with the beauty stuff. So my first empty, which has been my ride or die concealer for 2018, is the Age Rewind Concealer. Oh, there it is. Age, the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. The Instant Age Rewind Eraser uh, for dark circles. It says treatment concealer. It's a drugstore concealer. It's really good. Um, I'm in the shade Neutralizer. I use this almost every day. This is what I was using before I got into the Shape Tape. It's not super high coverage, but it does brighten the under eyes without uh, giving flashbacks. So it's my favorite thing to use. I wish it wasn't, it looks really gross, very sorry. I wish it wasn't a sponge, um, but it still works. Because once you get to the bottom, it's kind of hard to get everything out of the sponge. I wish I could just like squeeze it out or something. Um, but this is like top five favorite concealers to ever use. I'm not a huge fan of high coverage foundation or concealer, but specifically concealer because I feel, oops, I got dirty. I feel like if the concealer is too, it's just too much, it kind of like overwhelms your face. Um, that's how I kind of feel about the Bye Bye Under Eye with It Cosmetics. Like I love their products, but I feel like the Bye Bye Under Eye is just so heavy under your eyes. So I try not to use that and I try to stick to very low coverage. Not, I wouldn't say low coverage, medium coverage uh, concealers. My second empty is along the same lines. It's the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup. So when I first bought this, <laughs> I thought it was foundation. I'm still not really sure what it is. Um, I'm, in the sh I'm in the shade Sandy Beige 220. So it says sunscreen on it. So when I first bought it and I put it on, I was like, what the heck am I putting on my face? Because this doesn't feel like sunscreen, but there's a little bit of coverage, like foundation. So I was super confused. Then I started wearing it almost every day because it's, it's just first off. I actually like the sponge on this because it's so big. You kind of just put it on real fast. It's again like me light to medium coverage which is okay for like work days. I would wear this to work almost every day. And it has sunscreen in it, so that's really good. I definitely recommend this product, especially if you don't want like a really heavy concealer. I wouldn't say it's my, I mean, sorry, foundation. I wouldn't say it's my favorite foundation, drugstore foundation. If you need something quick to put on, before work or before working out or something where you don't need like to be caked up I would definitely recommend this product next up I'll do my favorite mascara which is the buxom mascara um, this isn't the waterproof one this is the regular one I'm not sure what the name of this mascara is as you can see it's very old everything's scratched off um, I've purchased this again and again since I was in high school I first got it in like a Sephora package when they gave me like a little tester or something and I haven't stopped buying it since. I just love the applicator. The wand is super long and it's real easy to just elongate your lashes and it also doesn't flake. I hate mascara that flakes. Um, it gets off, like some mascaras get all flaky and leave dark spots all over your under eye and it makes, it makes your under eyes look darker, but it's really just flakes from your mascara. And that's not supposed to happen. Your mascara is supposed to help you not to hurt you. So definitely recommend this product if you're looking to try a new mascara. Again, I've had this for years. I won't stop buying it. I'll probably buy a new one really soon. It's There's still a little bit left in here, so we're gonna keep using it until it's completely finished. I'm gonna go over my favorite eyeliner. So this is the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Liquid 
eyeliner. Um, I use the Vivid Brights eyeliner in my last video. This basically is the same applicator. It's just a little paintbrush. I not only love the application of this, but I also love that it's matte. I don't even think I've ever used like a glossy eyeliner. Does that exist? Not sure. Uh, but this one comes, it dries completely matte. It's so easy to make a straight line and I love that it's super juicy. I don't know if you know what I mean, but if you have this sort of like paintbrush application, if it's juicy, if it has a lot of product on it, it's very easy to just put it on your eyeline, on your eyelid and it'll just apply so easily. That's the reason I don't like um, pen eyeliners that you have to like shake up. Well, that you have to shake up. They're, they're so dry to put on. I feel like I'm scraping my eyelid to get it out. But this just applies so easy and I've purchased I've purchased like 10 of these in my lifetime. Sometimes if I find them on sale, I'll just buy them because I know I'm gonna need them in the future. Um, this one's almost out, but again, I'm gonna use it till it's completely out. Next up, I'm gonna talk about a product I talk about on Instagram all the time. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's underscore beauty by Nick. Um, this product, I haven't stopped using it since I got it. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination Powder. I guess this is the shade, you can't even see it. This is the shade Radiant Translucent. So this illumination powder, whoops, I kind of broke it because I've been scraping at it. It's almost completely empty. <laughs> I have another extra one prepared for when I'm out of this one. This powder is amazing. It makes your face look so flawless. I, I recommend this to everyone. It Cosmetics has been like my favorite cosmetics brand lately or makeup top 10 love it so much so this i use under my eye to set my whole face i just i love this so much i try to use natural light a lot so if let me know if you've experienced flashback with this because i never know if it's my concealer or my setting powder that makes me have flashback whenever i do have it um i definitely recommend this line i have the bronzer and the blush along with this. Um, I get them for Christmas a lot. My aunt loves to give me It Cosmetics products and I do not blame her. Along with that, that leads me to my next product. So my next product, I've raved about this on Instagram too, is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. Can't see it, everything's shiny. This stuff changed my life. <laughs> so I'm sure other girls have the same problem where they just don't feel like taking off their makeup. I hate taking off my makeup. A lot of the reasons if I ever sleep with my makeup is just because I'm too lazy to take it off, um, which is really bad, don't do that. But this stuff is so amazing. So it's a cleansing balm. This, you can see the bottom, it's completely empty. Again, I have another one ready to use, but this stuff, is so it's like a balm and you just pick some up and you just, it takes your makeup off in one swipe. Um, I would say it's kind of oily, so if you do use this, just rinse your face. Um, I don't do well with oily products on my face and they make me break out. So what I do with this is I use it to wipe off all my makeup and then I rinse my face and then that's it. I use it every day, haven't had a problem, haven't broken out, anything. Super, it's, it's a skin softening serum concentrate it's super hydrating, doesn't leave your face like dry or anything. Um, I do put moisturizer on after I rinse it off. Um, and sometimes when I feel like it, I wash my face with any kind of cleanser after I use this, but I definitely love this to take off any eye makeup, any makeup really, but eye makeup comes off so easily with this. I can't believe I didn't have this before. <laughs> um, so definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this bye bye makeup, especially if you're like me, too lazy to take off your makeup sometimes. It's just so much work. Um, I say it's so much work because I don't use makeup wipes. Makeup wipes do make me break out. So if I use a makeup wipe, I'd have to wash my face after to make sure there's no oily residue left over. And that's just so much work. I might as well just wash my face instead of using the wipe and then wash my face. But this definitely is a good replacement for the wipes. 
if you don't like using wipes like me. So next up, I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is, I'm sure everyone talks about this. This is like the best setting spray you can find. It is a little pricey, um, along with most of the things I've said. I guess I should have mentioned that, um, except for the drugstore products. But this setting spray is pretty pricey. I don't remember how much it is. I feel like it's $30 or something. But it's definitely worth it if you want a good setting spray that's going to stay on your face all night or all day, however long you wear your makeup. My last makeup uh, empty would be this Tarte Cosmetics uh, Brightening Eye Treatment. I got this as a gift. Really, no, it didn't have any directions or anything, but I've used it every single day. It's almost completely out. It's basically just an eye, like under eye moisturizer. I put it on after I wash my face every night or every morning. And I just love the way it feels. It's very cooling when you first put it on. And I love anything with a cooling sensation, especially under your eye. It definitely relieves any darkness or any puffiness you might have under your eye, especially in the morning. If you put this on, it moisturizes so well. And it just, like I said, it bright, brightens up your under eye. So definitely recommend this product. I think you could find it either at Ulta or Sephora. I'm sure this is pricey too, but it was a gift. So I have not seen how much it is and I'm going to find out when I buy my next one. This product I've used for so long now. It feels like so long, but it, I only discovered it like maybe a few months ago. <laughs> um, this is a Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Styling Butter. Um, I don't know if you can tell my hair texture, but it, it it's kind of undefined. It's wavy sometimes. It's not really curly, but it's super thick. And this has helped immensely in styling my hair. So what I use, I use this just to like, right now I'm wearing it to sleep back my ponytail. It's not hard at all. It's so soft, but it still holds your hair in place. It is very thick. So if you have very oily hair, I don't think I'd recommend this product. Uh, my hair is oily, but it's super thick, so if I wear it maybe for two days, if I don't wash my hair for two days and I put this on for both days, it'll be fine. It does have an interesting smell. It smells really good at first, um, but like I said, if I'm going on day three without washing my hair, I feel like it can smell this in my hair still. Um, that's the only bad thing about it. It says it moisturizes, improves softness, and helps prevent, prevent frizz, which it does an amazing job at. I would recommend once you're like getting empty, when it's almost out, we always cut it in half so that we could save the product inside because there's always product stuck down here that you can't really squeeze out. So we always end up cutting it in half and we find more product in there. I think it is pricey, but I found this at Target. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. I love this Carol, Carol's Daughter brand. I've been using it for a long time. Um, very good for like curly, um, curly coily kinky or wavy hair that's what it says on the packaging but that's kind of how my hair is crazy it's everything so it's really good to use so definitely recommend this product last product i have to recommend to you guys the shea moisture jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner so i have thick hair like i've mentioned before i always have to put thick i mean i always have to put leave-in conditioner in my hair after i wash it or else it's just is a mess so once I found this this leave-in conditioner I have not stopped buying it this has to be like my fifth one of these huge tubs I get the extra large tub 11 ounces of this and it's usually full I clean this one out completely so I just ended up washing it out this I use after I wash my hair so when my hair is damp I just comb this through using a wide tooth comb and it completely moisturizes my hair I would not use this just as something to style my hair, but it does contain frizz. So I could I could get away with just putting this in my hair. But usually I combine I combine these two products and then that's how I do my hair every day. This product, Shea Moisture and Carol Zotter, they're really good for thick curly hair. Again, my hair, it used to be a lot more curly than it is now with like heat damage. I dyed it a lot. Uh, so now it has less curls and more weird waves. But the, this product is still really good. It's not as heavy as the styling cream. It's very light and it smells amazing. All Shea Moisture products smell. Smell really good. It still 
still smells like it even though it's empty. This isn't always the best thing to travel with so I if I'm ever traveling I kind of scoop some up and I put them I put it in like a tinier bottle which is always a headache but it's worth it because I cannot wash my hair without putting leave-in conditioner in. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations for leave-in conditioners please please let me know but this one I have not had any problem with and I'll continue using it until I find something else I like better but I I just love this product so much and anything with Jamaican black castor oil is so good for your hair I, I love it. It makes your hair so shiny and so moisturized and hydrated without being making it so oily that it's just a mess. But, oh, this is also sulfate free and color safe. So that's good. Yeah, guys, that's all I have for my empties. Uh, I'll probably do another one in, in ne the next few months and try not to redo the same products because these are the same products I use forever. So I'm, I'll try to do other products that I end up liking. I did want to mention, um, I do promote recycling. <laughs> I do promote recycling any old beauty project products that you can. I wash this out. I'm hoping to use this for, for something else. I buy so many of these. I don't want to keep just throwing these away and making sure they don't end up in some landfill somewhere. I'll find a purpose for this. I know I will. Not sure what it will be, but you can always reuse any kind of beauty supply or beauty beauty product it was any type of like beauty product container as long as you rinse it out just like any food product container I am I don't want to say I'm a hoarder but I like to reuse things when I can to prevent any more waste um, especially with beauty products I just buy so much stuff and end up it ends up in the trash at some point so stuff like this I try to rinse out and find another purpose for I'm sure there's something I'll use this for like I mentioned before, to make sure you get all the product out of your containers, you can always cut things like this that are flexible, like any, um, usually face wash comes in this kind of tube, or moisturizer, try to cut it in half and get all the product out of the container before you buy a new one and not try not to waste product, because no one wants to waste product or waste money. So it's a really good tip. Um, I also like to use smaller containers say for like this tart uh, eye cream. I'm definitely gonna fill this with my Neutrogena, all like my moisturizer. I travel a lot, so I like to use little products like this to keep my bigger products, make them smaller when I'm traveling. So I'll definitely put some moisturizer in here and take this to go when I travel. I do the same thing with any kind of spray. If I have to travel, I always have to bring hairspray when I go to drill. So I usually buy like one travel size hairspray and then one like full size hairspray and just pour, keep pouring and refilling the, t the travel one and take that every month. I travel so much I'm not going to keep buying little travel size things when I could just reuse a little travel size bottle. Less waste, you know? Well, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a really good time filming it. I love going through all the things that I use a lot and really makes me realize I need to try new things. But also, I love the things about these products so much I'm willing to keep buying them and support, supporting their brands. Um, let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts on it or any recommendations for my next one. Um, until then, I'll see you guys later.